Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to Mass Appeal. I'm Alora Marie, filling in for Ashley Cole. And I'm Seth Stubbin. In case I don't see every single mother out there, happy early Mother's happy Day to Mother's you all. Happy Mother's Day. And we are going to celebrate in style. So as you know, Mother's Day is just around the corner. It's coming up. I hope you bought your gifts for that <laughs> special lady in your life. But today, we're going to show you how to make an extra special breakfast for your mom. And joining us now is Alex Washett, co-owner and chef of Jake's Restaurant in Northampton, to show us how to make a crispy potato cake with asparagus and a poached egg. It sounds delicious. It really is, it's wonderful. And the best part of this is that Mother's Day falls in the perfect time of the, uh, of the season. We have great local asparagus. Um, all the farms are really starting to come to the markets. So everything right now we have here is from the Pioneer Valley, and that's a really, it's a plus, and that's a, something we stand for at Jake's as well. You know what's fun you can do with your mom's Mother's Day too? Because it doesn't always have to be about the gifts. Head to a farmer's market or something. Absolutely. Head out to brunch and get some of these things. You can make yeah. it, you can go to a restaurant, or you can make it at home. Just Absolutely. spending time with your mom. It's all about quality well, time. We'll show you something simple here. Uh, we'll start off with a couple poached eggs. And we've gone through this before, we, but we certainly have I can't times. do it at home every time. So it's it's as easy as cracking an egg in some boiling right. water. Right, I like to swirl the water a little bit. It's going to help wrap around the albumin, uh, around the yolk. And this happens pretty fast, doesn't it? It does happen Because I can about, already see it starting about to... About two minutes. So we're going to let that go. Okay. Uh, we're going to just want to get the whites completely cooked through and the yolk to be perfectly raw and, and very loose in the center. Um, you can poach them anyway. You can have them over easy, over medium, over hard. And that's indicating how much time they're in there for. Right. But how do you know when it's reached what you wanted it to well, reach? Well, you kind of have to just poke it a little bit. Oh, just poke it a little bit, <laughs> take it out. You take it out with your spatula, poke it a little bit, and if it seems well poked, then you're good to go? Well, more or less, yeah. So, okay. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not rocket science. I'll buy it. <laughs> um, so I have here a really nice um, potato cake that we did. Now, I par-cooked these potatoes. I grated them and then cooked them in a pan. And then I form them into a, uh, a patty. It has some caramelized onions and some scallions and some caramelized peppers as well. And we're just going to re rewarm these right now. They smell really good as They're soon as they hit the pan. Very good, very good. Now, what's in it? I know that I see shaved potato. I see some peppers. How did you cook the potato first before you shaved it in? I just grated it on a box grater, and I cooked them, kind of cooked them down a little bit in a pan, and took them off, let them cool. And then I took the caramelized onions back in that pan, cooked those off, let them cool. So I cooked them all separately. And, and then, then I let them cool and then I formed them into a patty. And then I refried them sort of on the pickup, as we say in the restaurant, on the pickup, on the order. On the fly? Is that a restaurant term too? That is a, that is a restaurant That's when you're That's doing impressive. it quickly though, That's right? when, you, when you really need it. Yeah. So on we're just going to warm this up. The eggs are poaching. And also here, I blanched off some really wonderful uh, local asparagus. This came from Hadley, which is known, known for its asparagus. And yeah, they call it Hadley grass, don't they? And blanched just means you cooked it really fast. I, I cooked it in, in boiling salted water. And what the oh, okay. salt does is it really... Um, kind of wakes up the, the green chlorophyll in any green vegetable. So it's a nice little restaurant trick. So if you want really green vegetables, cook it in like boiling salted water and then shock it in ice water really quickly and preserve that nice beautiful green. So you boil in salted water and then you shock it in ice water to keep the green going. That's right. And then, you can great just, then we just reheat it a little bit. We just kind of steamed it with a little bit of water. Here we have a roasted tomato and basil vinaigrette. Now it's, I, I kept it very thick because I wanted a Kind of sauce consistency, but this is just roasted tomatoes we did in the oven, mm -hmm. uh, 200 degrees, four hours. And how does one is it is it easy, as easy as putting tomatoes in the oven? On More or less, degrees? we cut them into quarters and we oiled them, salted them, a little bit of pepper and a pinch of sugar, and then we just cooked them for 200 degrees, about four hours. So you slow cook them. Slow cook them. And, and what else did you say was in there? And we pureed it with basil, uh, a touch of mustard, and some olive oil. And we kept it thick because we want this to be. A sauce. A side mustard, oh. and that's a plate. That's a fancy plating trick um, right there. That little is, swoop. Is Mom there a word really for the swoop? Really impressed with that. I think. Well, I think you just said it. See, because when, when I was, it's a fancy swoop. <laughs> when I was a kid, I'd make my mom like an omelet for breakfast, or something like that. But it would it would be just a mess of eggs and vegetables on but a plate. But that's so sweet. So here Seth. we have this. Uh, but this is sweeter. Cake. So here's our potato cake. It's oh, nicely looks, warm. My stomach is growling. I don't, okay, I don't know if you can hear almost, that. Eggs are almost finished. Here we have some really beautiful uh, baby kale and some nice pea shoots. And we're just gonna make a little salad with some baby kale and pea shoots. And now these are all things that you can get at the farmer's market. Oh yes, I think these are from Town Farm. Mm -hmm. uh, Alligator Farm came from the asparagus. So it's all very local. Um, and anyone can get this. I mean, all, you know, in Northampton, I know has markets on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Amherst has one on Saturdays. It's there's, exciting time. There's markets all around Western Mass too. And uh, I know you can go to CESA, then they have a great database of all the, it really all the farmer's markets. So here's our poached egg. Oh, there you so and then gonna, you're gonna give it a little poke to make sure. So we're just gonna done. feel it. It's nice. It's very warm, but 
it's just, it's very soft. What don't you want to feel? Because this this poking thing is good if you know what you're looking for. Well, we just, want, I don't. we just want it to be soft. We don't, we don't want it to be firm like a hard boiled egg. So it's just that easy. And then really the side salad. And then this it's beautiful pea shoots. And then when you cut into it, because this is, would you call this over easy? Yes. The egg, so the, y the yolk will be runny. Yeah, when you cut into it. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That is our Mother's Day brunch. Oh, it's beautiful. Your mom would be really impressed say, if you made this for her. Mom, I don't know if I can make this for you, but uh, you know, we'll have to go out for brunch. We'll do that instead. Jake, or rather Alex, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so Thanks much for lot. stopping by today. This looks here. amazing. So now.